Bangladesh is a low-lying delta region located in the northeast of the Indian subcontinent. Hundreds of rivers, including some of South Asia's largest, like the Ganges, Brahmaputra, and the Jamuna, pass through the country. However, the combination of snowmelt from the Himalayan mountains, monsoon rains, and soil erosion due to deforestation typically results in annual flooding that affects thousands of people each year and submerges about a third of the country for three to four months. And when a cyclone hits Bangladesh from the south, it can create a 20-foot storm surge of water that sweeps away all before it, destroying homes and infrastructure like schools, health clinics, and libraries. Shidhwali Sanovar Sangstha, or SSS, is a group that was established in Bangladesh in 1982 after a particularly traumatic flood that the country was unprepared to handle. The group began with the objective of upgrading the standard of living for the socially disadvantaged, the politically powerless, and the economically vulnerable people and communities in rural Bangladesh. The area SSS originally focused on was in Bangladesh's northern districts, which are comprised mostly of rivers and wetlands and are some of the most susceptible to flooding. Health services are not typically available to the villagers who live in these remote areas, yet they suffer from extremely high rates of malnutrition and waterborne diseases. Beginning initially with environmental restoration projects, SSS quickly grew to include education, development, and health care to their list of services. The key innovation that SSS developed to deal with the constant flooding was to put basic infrastructure, like schools, libraries, and health clinics, on boats. The boats would be able to survive the floods and the storm surges, and would be able to serve the local population from the rivers during, before, and after the floods occurred. Now, the arrival of SSS's health and education boats have become a highly anticipated event, and even a formal schedule has been set in many of the villages they serve. For people in these northern villages, there are no longer disruptions of basic services due to weather, for students anxious to learn, or for the sick that need to see a doctor. In total, there are five boats that serve as health clinics, 21 as schools, three as libraries, and nine as training centers. And they serve a population of more than 100,000 people scattered over many miles. In the aftermath of particularly severe flooding in 2004, 2006, and 2007, the boats remained in action and were able to help bring aid, health care, comfort, and education to the rural population. And Direct Relief International was there to help them with their health care provision. By providing medical supplies to SSS, Direct Relief was able to help them provide expanded health care services to a larger number of people as well as free up their critically needed funds that they were then able to spend on doctors and additional medical supplies and additional boats. In three emergency shipments that Direct Relief International sent for their flood response efforts, Direct Relief provided SSS with more than $1,200,000 in wholesale value of pharmaceuticals, nutritional supplements, medical supplies, and equipment. This is Matt McCullough. Direct Relief International. <laughs> uh, for live region. Thank you. And computer region. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>